Good morning, a lot to get to here this morning, so let's get you caught up and we'll start with breaking news. A person shot downtown within the last hour. And we heard from police a short time ago about this, and we now know that this happened about a half mile from Baker's Life Fieldhouse, and there is still a lot to learn about how this happened. That's right, so let's get out to Lauren Costick, who's been live from that scene, and Lauren, police were actually really close by when a second round of shots were fired, right? Yeah, Ben, Julia, police were in this parking lot when that second round of shots were fired, and it's not clear whether those shots were directed towards the officers or were just in the were, or were just nearby. But you can see this crime scene is pretty large here on South Street. It stretches all the way from Meridian to Pennsylvania, and this all happened after three this morning after a large group was leaving downtown. Officers were in the area at the time helping people to the car because police say this parking lot is usually pretty busy on weekend nights like Thursday. Thursday, Friday and Saturday, and that's when the initial shots were fired. They were then placed a tourniquet on the victim that from that initial shooting, and that's when that second round of shots were fired. Gunfire is the last thing you want to hear. As a police officer, you know, hearing it means somebody is doing something wrong, and you don't know if someone's hurt. You don't know if it's at you. You're trying to figure out what's going on. So there's a lot of uh, activity at one time. Crime Lab is still out here looking at the evidence, and there are multiple markers scattered around this parking lot. Since it's such a large crime scene, it's still going to take a while to investigate. And that's why police don't know yet how many shots were fired or how many weapons were involved in these two shootings, these two shootings and shots fired. But that victim from the initial shooting was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Yeah, just some questions if police were indeed targeted in this or if they just happened to be close by. But nonetheless, uh, another uh, shooting issue in downtown. Lauren, thanks for the update. Uh